Hey, um, so in the last uh, video we set up Babel. Um, this video, it's nothing really crazy. Uh, I just wanted to show you um, the Babel plugin transform runtime. Um, figured since we're talking about Babel and talking like kind of going into depth things, um, you'll probably want to set this up at some point if you are using Babel with Webpack. Um, and basically what it is, is if you're familiar with how Babel works, um, basically whenever you, um, you know, there's, there's no like magic really to the translation, right? Like Babel has to take ES 2015 code and just convert, convert it to something that ES5 can understand, right? So basically for some certain functionality, it actually makes these like helper functions, um, that are actually end up being embedded into your code. Um, and what can happen is if you don't have this plugin set up, um, Babel will make copies um, of these like helper functions wherever you require them in your code. So, um, you know, obviously if you have a bunch of code and these are embedded all over the place, it's just, uh, you know, extra code for no reason. So uh, if you set up the Babel runtime and the Babel plugin transform runtime, um, this will basically tell Babel to include this little bundle in with your code and reference that bundle when it needs helper functions instead of creating them um, in the code, right? So basically, there's not much to it. All you have to do is install two dependencies. Um, the first one will be a dev dependency, and that is babel-plugin, oops, plugin-transform-run runtime. And the other one will be a regular dependency, so dash, 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 save, or dash, capital S. And that will be a babel dash runtime. Okay. Okay, so, and then, uh, reload. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think because I was messing with this before, so it just reloaded it. But this is basically what you need to add here. Um, so wherever you have your Babel configuration, whether that's in Webpack, in a .babelrc file, or like I have it in my package JSON, you basically just want to add a plugin section, which is an array, and just add transform-runtime, okay? Um, I don't think there's anything I can really do to like show you the effects of this at the moment, but... Um, if you're interested in the inner workings and if what I said didn't really make sense, <laughs> you can just go to the Babel documentation. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward explanation. Um, so yeah, just want to show you that real quick. Next video, we will get to the funness of the Webpack dev server. Yay.